Hello Aquarius, Sun Rising and Venus and welcome to your reading. So Aquarius, today we're going to focus on your recent past, your current energy and the near future and a few other things. So let's get started. For Aquarius, Sun Rising and Venus. For Aquarius, Sun Rising and Venus. All right, Aquarius, you know what's interesting is that before I did your reading, I'm just like, why am I so excited to do Aquarius's reading? I'm like, what the fuck is going on? But I guess we'll see. You know, we do have the Ace of Cups, so we're starting off really strong. For some of you, you could have recently met someone new. Now, for some of you, this could definitely represent a starting over energy between you and somebody that you already have a lot of history with. But I'm just, dude, I don't know. I'm just getting like overly excited for you. I don't know why, but I guess we'll see. Now, your current energy is the Hermit. And in the near future... We do have the moon, your challenge. Mm -hmm. We got the lovers, honey. And your overall advice is the devil okay for some of you you could very well be uh dealing with a gemini possibly a virgo maybe even a cancer or a capricorn or a pisces um so yeah doesn't necessarily have to be the case though but let's look at the ace of cups shall we for aquarius someone rising and venus Ooh, kind of looks like love honey came knocking on your door um and you pretended uh, as if you were at home is basically what I'm getting. Okay. This to me kind of feels like an overall energy of you feeling absolutely drawn to someone. Um, now, whoever this person is that you feel absolutely drawn to, like I said, it could be somebody that you have history with, or it could just be a brand new person that we're talking about here. But I... It just, it's interesting because you feel absolutely drawn to this individual, but at the same exact time, it's like you're pulling away from this connection at the exact same time. It's like you're experiencing the only like tug of war right now. You know what I mean? It's like a part of you like just so wants to gravitate towards them. But then that there's just that other part of you that's like, you know what? No, I really shouldn't. You know what? I really should be focusing on myself right now. I really should be focusing on my money right now. Like it has that type of feel to it. Uh, let's look at the hermit though. Okay, we have the Three of Swords, we got the Magician, and then we have the Chariot out here. Yeah, honey, whoever this person is um, that you just recently met, um, or whoever this person is that you have a lot of history with that wants a second chance, um, you know, with you, you know, I feel like you're shying away from them. I do, dude. Like, I feel like you're really shying away from this person. This, to me, kind of feels like an energy of, like, you hiding, I would say, from this person, this connection. And I feel like this person's like really trying to like reel you back in is basically what I'm getting. They're really trying to reel you back in. They really, really are. They really, really are. There's something about them. There's something about them doing something with you that they typically don't do with other people. Ooh. Oh, Aquarius, we're going to go there because we have to go there. I feel like this person's chasing you. I do. And that's not something this person typically does. Like, they don't chase nobody. So the fact that this person's chasing you um, is very, very much so out of their norm is basically what I'm getting. It's very much so out of their norm. You know, there is an energy of them kind of feeling like they're losing you a little bit. Um, and I feel like they're kind of worried about it because they don't really want to lose you. Um, they don't really want you to shy away from this relationship. But that's what you're currently doing. You know, you're shying away from this relationship. And here they are, honey. You know, what I mean, just trying to reel you back in all over again. But it's crazy because you got this one chasing after you. And that's something that they typically do not do. Okay, let's look at the lovers. Tell you more about the lovers. Ooh, okay. We have the king and the queen of pentacles. True pair situation here between you and this person. I mean, you and this person are very compatible. Aquarius, you guys are very compatible to one another. Very compatible to one another. You guys mesh very, very well with one another. I also feel like you and this person have a lot of things in common with one another. I'm also getting that too. You know what's interesting about you two humans? You know what's interesting? Is that I feel like y'all know. There's a very strong and intense connection here between the two of you. I just feel like neither one of you want to acknowledge 
that there's a strong and intense connection here between the two of you. I mean, look at this Queen of Pentacles looking in the opposite direction of this King of Pentacles. And look at this King of Pentacles, you know, looking in the complete opposite direction of this Queen of Pentacles. I think that you guys have a very strong and intense connection to one another. I just feel like y'all just don't want to admit it to yourselves that you do have a very strong and intense connection with this person. This person has a very strong and intense connection with you. Point blank, period. I just kind of feel like neither one of you want to acknowledge it. Or accept it. It's weird too because I feel like you guys both have like strong and intense feelings for one another. But again, it's not something that neither one of you wants to acknowledge for whatever reason. I want to look at your person a little bit more though. I do. But, um, you know, I listen, I, I feel like this connection could definitely bring a lot of happiness and joy into your life. I just feel like you have to allow it to, you know, grow and evolve, right, between the two of you. And I feel like that is going to be your biggest challenge, dude, is just allowing yourself to go there, you know, with this person. Because right now you're fighting it. You're fighting it. Um, all right, let's look at the devil. Okay. So in regards to, interesting, in regards to your overall advice, um, I do feel like this could turn out way better than you could essentially imagine. I just don't feel like you seem to think so, if that makes any sense. There's this energy of you being under the impression that this person is just here to waste your time. This person's just here to manipulate you. This person's just here to deceive you. Um, uh, you know, this person is just here to use you, take advantage of you. I'm also getting that for some of you, you might be under the impression that this person is just pining after you for a good old time, nothing more, nothing less. But I feel like this could totally turn out better than you could essentially imagine. I just kind of feel like you don't dare to find out if it honestly could. It's basically what I'm getting. Um, so, I mean, overall, right, your overall advice is to be open and receptive to this connection and set aside your doubts or reservations of what you think their intentions are um, towards you um, because this could totally turn out better than you could imagine. But that's my thing with you, right, is that you're kind of in this energy of like, yeah, but this could also blow up in my face. So, nah, I'm good with milagros. Like, I don't want this to blow up in my face. I'm just going to go off and just continue to do me. You know, it has that type of feel to it. But let's look at the moon here. Hmm. Yeah. Aquarius, um, this to me kind of feels like an energy of you kind of like second guessing yourself here when it comes down to shying away from this particular person's connection um, is concerned. It's it's like you're harnessing the energy of like, well, damn, like, what if I would have given them a chance? Like, what if, it, what if you know, it could have worked out between us? Like, what if we could have had something awesome with one another? Listen, dude, I'd rather you deal with oh wells and what ifs. Because this whole, man, but what if, you know, what if I would have given them a chance? Like, and we would have had something amazing with one another. You know what I mean? Because that's a possibility. You know what I mean? You, you could have an amazing life with this person. You know what I mean? That's definitely a possibility that you could totally have that. But you'll never know. You'll never know, dude, until you try. You'll never know until you allow yourself to go there. You'll never know. And that's the thing, right? Is that they can only do so much on their end. It's like... Here they are trying to reel you back in all over again because they see that you're starting to to like distance yourself from them and they don't like it. You know what I mean? They, they just don't like it. So they're trying to do everything on their end that they can do to like reel you back in. But whatever it is that they are currently doing, dude, to reel you back in, it ain't working. It's not working. It's not working. I want to look at your person a little bit more, though. <clears throat> Tell me more about the chariots. Doom, 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 doom. Okay, so we have the Ace of Pentacles, we got the Six of Wands, and then we also have the Three of Wands. I just feel like this person wants you to give them a chance. They just want you to give them a chance. That's it. They just want you to give them a chance. And that's the thing, you're, you're in this energy of like, yeah, no, I'm okay. I'm okay, but thank you. But thank you, thank you, thank you. But no, 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 seriously, leave me the hell alone. You know what I mean? It's like you're still out here practicing social distancing. Um, Capricorn, I mean, not Capricorn, Aquarius. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or you might have Capricorn within your chart. Um, 
But yeah, dude, you're still out here practicing social distancing, you know? Just stay the hell away from me, please and thank you, you know? I just feel like this person wants you to give them a chance, whether that be a second chance or just a chance, you know what I mean? That's it. You know, they just want you to give them a chance. You got this person chasing after you, which is not something that this person typically does, okay? The bottom of the deck, I feel like this is you all day. We have the High Priestess. We do have the Five of Wands. And then we have the Five of Pentacles, so the Four of Cups. Yeah. This is kind of reiterating, like, what I already said about you. It's like you're distancing yourself from this person because of what you think is going to end up happening if you were to give them a second chance or just a chance in general. You know what I mean? You know, you think that this is going to eventually blow up in your face. You think things are going to eventually go south. Um, and you don't want to go through that. You don't want to go through that. You don't want to go through that. Okay. Let me look at your person a little bit more. I want to look at them one more time. Doom, 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 doom. All right, tell me more about this person that's pining after Aquarius. Okay. Huh, okay. We have the hair of font. Mm. We have the five. I wonder if you're dealing with like an emperor. Well, then again, the person that does sit in the chariot is the emperor. I mean, this person does kind of come across to me as like an emperor-like energy. This person might be older than you. I am definitely getting that. But the only reason why I'm like, yo, I'm kind of getting like emperor vibes off of them is because when an emperor sets their mind to something, they're very determined to accomplish and achieve it. And they don't really care about the obstacles that, you know, they eventually end up facing um, towards whatever it is that they're trying to accomplish and or achieve for themselves. Um, they don't really care about the obstacles whatsoever. Um, here's one thing that I will say is that they have their eyes dead set on you, homie, and what they want with you you okay so with that being said by you distancing yourself from them that's not gonna stop them from like chasing you that's not gonna stop them from pursuing you if anything it's gonna create the opposite effect it's gonna cause this person to want you even more honey um you know this is that type of person that looks at you as like a challenge and to be completely honest I feel like they low-key like that that you do pose like a massive challenge they, they like the fact that you're not easy is like the best way that I can describe uh what it is that I'm seeing here you know like I said if you think for one second for one second that by you distancing yourself from them and not talking to them and just ignoring them and avoiding them that that's going to cause them to like I don't know leave you alone yeah that's not going to happen it's not going to happen it's going to cause this person to want you even more okay it's going to cause this person to want you even more. Like, this is that type of person that refuses to go down without a fight. This person is not going to stop until they get what they want. And what they want is you. So, uh, what are you going to do? Hmm? What are you going to do? Ignore them for the rest of your life? Run in the opposite direction of them for the rest of your life? Avoid them for the rest of your life? I don't know what you're going to do. But all I do know is that they're not going to leave you alone. Yeah, no, 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 because it's going to cause them to want, like I said, you pushing them away is going to cause them to want you even more. So yeah, I really don't know what you're going to do, Aquarius. I don't know what you're going to do. You know, I, I, I honestly, to be honest, I feel like it's, it, you know, they're 2.5 seconds from like, you know, they're 2.5 seconds from becoming a little borderline crazy about you. I am definitely getting that strongly. Now, what else can you tell me? Okay, so we have the Justice card. We got the Seven of Swords. And then we also have the Five of Pentacles. Okay. There's only one way to find out, Aquarius. It's like you keep... I, it, it, I, I get it. You know what I mean? Like, there's a possibility, right? That this could totally blow up in your face. Like, your biggest thing is, I just don't want to make a mistake. You know? I just don't want to make a mistake. I don't want to make a mistake. I don't want to make a mistake. I get that. I get that completely. You know what I mean? That you just don't want to make a mistake. You just don't want to experience another um, disappointment or heartache. I understand that. Um, but dude, you're you're not going to find out. You're not going to find out if this is somebody worth getting to know or even accepting back into your life until you give them another chance, right? Or just give them a chance in general. It doesn't hurt. 
in other words, to like go on a date with this person, get to know this person. If this is a new person, it doesn't hurt for you to do that. Um, you know, it doesn't hurt for you to see if this person has actually changed or not by giving them a second chance. You know what I mean? Um, you, spirit's not saying, yo, you need to go run off into the sunset with this person immediately. No, spirit's not saying that. You know what I mean? Spirit's not trying to tell you to do all of that. You know what I mean? Spirit's just like, hey, like, you know, like, this could totally turn out better than you could imagine, but you're never going to know um, for sure, for sure, until you allow yourself to basically go there. Because we could sit here and, and do the whole, but what if it doesn't work out, Milagros? Then what am I going to do? You're going to get rid of them and you're going to keep moving on with your life like you did with the last person. You know what I mean? But I think that this could turn out better than you could essentially imagine. It's just this whole what's stopping you is the, but what if it blows up in my face? What if? You know what I mean? This happens or, or, or that happens. You know what I mean? Um, but what if it turns out awesome? You know what I mean? Between the two of you, what if it turns out, you know, to be that you're getting involved with, you know, the person that you're going to end up getting married to and having a family with? What, what, what about that too, Aquarius? You know what I mean? But these are, these are not things that you're thinking about. Like you're thinking about now, like what if they lie to me and cheat on me and betray me and deceive me. Well, then you call me and then we're going to go pop their tires, you know, when they're not looking, you know. But until that day comes, which it may not ever come, you know what I mean? It doesn't hurt to get to know them. It doesn't hurt to get to know them, Aquarius. It doesn't hurt to get to know them, you know what I mean? And it doesn't hurt to see if they have changed. If this is like a sec if this is like somebody wanting a second chance with you, like it doesn't hurt to see if they've changed or not. Like... You know, at the end of the day, you're an Aquarius. Always remember that. You're an Aquarius. Y'all have x-rays vision, okay? When it comes down to humans, y'all can see right through people's bullshit. Like, trust yourself enough to know that you would know if this person has actually changed or not. And if you realize, yo, this person's still the same, they haven't changed, cut them out of your life and keep it pushing. You know what I mean? Um, trust yourself enough to know that you have the ability to see right through people's bullshit because y'all do. You guys really, really do. You guys really, really do. So I don't know. The decision is entirely up to you, Aquarius. I'm just telling you what I'm saying here. Um, but it doesn't hurt to see if they have changed. Just like it doesn't hurt to get to know them. It doesn't hurt. You know what I mean? It doesn't hurt. All right. So that's what I have for you, dude. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.